explains what I'm looking at. Uh -huh. Okay. And this over here, this was part of the uh, telephone system, wasn't it? The yeah. telephone and telegraph. Yeah. Um, you it. When I was trying, you didn't have to use it. They had all the equipment, but you didn't have to use the telegraph. It was all fun. Yeah. We were uh, debating on what to do with this floor. And we noticed around on the edges it was chipping. And so when we got to look at it, we discovered that it paper. Oh, that's what put putting down shingles <laughs> on a roof. And so what it looks like is they just roll the, the stuff out on glue. And just roll it down. Huh. Yeah, they put one layer down. Yeah. This one. And then this one on top of it, the second layer, and then they painted it. <laughs> so here all, all this time we thought it was uh, some kind of, not for mica, but what they call it, there was another product they used back then, I don't remember what it was called, but we thought that's what it was. Not and so now, was. no. And so now, we're, because of the grill that's being so brittle, yeah. we're going to uh, take it up. But that's the only thing we're going to change over here. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, they have two desks here. Daisy May, uh, I don't know, I remember Daisy sitting back to back this way, facing each other, like, facing each other. It was a double deck. Yeah. Uh -huh. So she's sitting on this side, she's sitting on this side. So right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are these new windows? No. No, no. 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 no they still got the ripple glass in. Okay. Remember, I used to open these things. Yeah. You know. They had the weights in them. Mm -hmm. The old weights are probably yep. broken and down in there. Oh, yeah. 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 They're down inside on these yeah. two. Uh -huh. But they're uh, not on that one. I think they're still hanging on that one. Oh, the ropes are still there and the pulleys are still there. Huh. Yeah, we had a cabin up in the woods and it was just about, it was built in 26. And it had the old windows and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what do they call it? Wayne Ford here and stuff? Wayne Ford. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, was this green when it was over there? I don't know. I don't remember. I can't remember. Probably. Remember when we sold, I wasn't worried about selling tickets. I think all the time I worked here, I like, sold like one ticket. Really? Because they didn't really stop and, you know, it wasn't passenger stop at that time. And that was back in the 60s. Yeah, one of the 60s. I would imagine that there was a lot of uh, passenger traffic, you know, up probably through World War II. Yeah, I was. And, you know, the waiting room down here, I, I remember, I don't know, what, being in the waiting room, you know, like maybe once or twice. And you know what this is called? No. The, the, this is where the money was kept in this drawer right here for the passengers, whatever you do with the people right here. Mm -hmm. And the this was so you could put your hand through. And then there were, uh, it would just be metal forks or whatever down here that, that you would give a combination by pushing this this lever up and this lever up or whatever. Yeah, the bird has up there. But it would have been like this door over here. Oh. And then that would unlock the cash door. It would? And the dad showed me how to do it. Oh. So I was kind of curious about that. Because I'd seen him go underneath here and you just hear it click, click, click. And the I've seen those before. The drawer would come out. Yeah. So these, were, these were put in after, probably after the building was moved. And what was put in? These drawers. Oh, okay. This drawer. See, this is a drawer out of here. Right. Yeah. I and mean, so, this isn't the original drawer, probably, then, is what you're telling me. 
Yeah, that's it was a metal drawer. So the railroad probably took that when they gave us the building. Could very well be. Yeah. Yeah, but that was kind of cool up there. And when I saw this, uh, I just thought, oh, well, it'd be cool if we had pictures of that. Uh -huh. But see, somebody's painted this, and we're talking about we're going to take all this paint off and mm -hmm. restore all this hardware. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? I understand. They were called paint or anything. Yeah. It, you know. Well, there was no paint on it. There was no paint? No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. I don't remember. It was kind of weird. Now the same, same, I think it was the same color. Yeah, it could have been the other color. Yeah. Because I don't remember. So like the, the plan is to strip all this yeah. and clean up all this nice hardware yeah, that's and let us see oh. what, what it looked like because these are beautiful pieces. Yeah. Timetables in it and that kind of a thing. Time or is that? We haven't talked about timetables in a long time. So you're saying it's on that wall over there then? Yes, yeah, yeah, it was out from where the passengers could get to it. Uh huh. And we, do you ever remember there just being outhouses? No. They always had these two restrooms? I think there was, yeah. So, so when you were here, where did you go? If you had to go, to, yeah. you went yeah. in here. Yeah. Those were there all the time when, when we were kids. Yeah, I they might have. I that dad said that before that there were like outhouses that were uh, not, not separated. So did they have a sink in the front? It could have been a sink right there. Because they didn't have anything to wash, you had to come out here and wash your wash hands. Wash your hands. Yeah, you just went to the bathroom in there. That's what I thought. Uh huh. Because they didn't have a sink in each one of them. Neither of them had a sink. No, I mean, was just right here. But yeah, I don't ever remember any outhouses. You know, a long time ago they might have when it first started, but that would be a long time ago to have outside toilets. Mm -hmm. We're trying, we're trying to find another one of these lights for over here. Uh -huh. Because in the pictures we see another one of these that's yeah. hanging down real low here over the desk uh -huh. where you're sitting and working. Yeah. So we're trying to find another one of those. Uh -huh. I'm going to go back down to Hippo Hardware in Portland. I don't think they would have something like that, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. We got a swap meet in Portland. We got, a, we got everything down there. Which swap meet? For the railroad? No. Oh. It's for the car swap meet, but they have antique pumps and all that stuff. You know, like, and lights and things. Yeah, they had it. At that time, they had a train sitting there for, you know, they had a track that went down there where they had the coal and brought it up. And, oh. Too much of a train sitting there for quite a while. Like a caboose or something. Mm -hmm. Did you ever work on any of the trains? No. Wow. I can I can remember the steam engines when my dad was there coming up. I can just remember the big and the water. Well, I keep looking out, think I was down there. Yeah, you're looking for the water tower. Yeah, looking for the water towers out there. You know, yeah. It's all wet and grippy, and you know, big old thing up went out. And, been pulled up there and steam was coming out and the uh, engineers stuff and firemen were out there oiling oil, oil, different things and mm -hmm. water dripping everywhere. That was kind of 
I mean, the album was something to say, but it was a like that. You have pictures of any of those? No, not the no. stage and stuff. I drew a picture when Ben was down here at night. And I drew a picture of this place. You did? Yeah, and I saw it, and I don't you know where it is now. Just a sketch. Mm -hmm. And I was have to look for that thing. I think it was just like a picture. You know. Are any of the other guys that you knew back in that period still around that worked here? No, I don't think I'm the only one. You're the only one that you know. Yeah. No, I don't know. How old are you now, Lee? 78? 78, yeah. And you're 75? Yeah. Well, those guys are probably, you know, I know the guy that bumped off me is probably older than I was. You know, I was only 18 when I started, so probably you don't, you don't keep touch with them. I know, the old timers are all gone. I'm the only one left that worked here, I guess. Mm -hmm. I used to come down here at Dad and do my homework. I didn't come down here and hang out. But it kind of you did your homework. Yeah. yeah. Now, you lived up on the hill. Yeah. Well, is the house still there? Yeah. It is? Uh -huh. You know where the you church is right up here? You have pictures of the house and everything? Yeah. Yeah, we got pictures of that. We hey, someone that's got thick stuff really nice on 3rd and Kimberly. Say again? The, the our old house is on 3rd uh, and Kimberly. Kidney. That's why they like a bed and breakfast there for a while. You could rent the rooms. They fixed up pretty fancy. Oh, it's a real nice. Yeah, it's just before you go around the curve right there. Yeah, it sits up on the hill and there's a lot of bushes and road bushes and stuff. Remember, I hate I hated to mow that lawn because it was really steep. Steep. We had to move all the way down to the road. Yeah. Do you have any pictures of the old part of town? Not too much of the town, I think. Did, didn't they have barns along here? They had what? Barns along here. Well, yeah, I keep looking. I keep looking, looking this way. Yeah, they had the vegetable shanty stuff. Yeah. Out there. Yeah, yeah. it was all along there. Because it was, uh, they shipped a lot of stuff out there. And I know my grandfather grew celery out of here in the field, and they had shipped the celery by the train. The train oh, yeah. Out of there. Yeah, this was the celery capital for a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and it was, yeah, a, and it was white, white celery. Oh, yeah? White celery. Yeah. Well, they bleached it. Yeah. yeah. But they that was the thing back then. Yeah, that was the thing back then. Mm -hmm. Bleached it? That's what made this area popular. Uh -huh. Celery and the vegetables that came out here. Yeah. Were you aware that the uh, that the Union Pacific had houses where the employees uh, actually lived? Yeah, because they lived in the station here before it burned down. Then when they rebuilt, when they built this, this this new building didn't have a living, but the old building that was here. Right, but that uh, <coughs> um, the station what master. What I was right? talking about is the regular residential houses that weren't attached to the uh, depot at all. But there were two of them. Oh, from the depot up to where the uh, uh, the road crosses now and, and goes over to the uh, uh, the freeway, which is right up here. The right down, right down the bottom of Hungry Hill. Those houses are gone. Right, or that's Buxton. I guess it was Buxton. You know, yeah. Hungry down Hill. Down at the base of Buxton. That was a railroad house right there, right, oh. right there at the bottom of the hill. As you cross the road. As you cross Columbia. Yeah, because I went to school with that guy. Do you have pictures of that? No. No. Dale Allen, he just died not too long ago. The guy that lived in that house. Dale but Allen. Judy is still alive. Judy is, and then Barbara, she's still alive somewhere. East of Oregon. Do you know them well enough? Are they still around here? Or are they? Mm, uh, Judy, I guess, is yeah, somewhere. She lived just out of Sandy. She might have had some pictures of it. Now, where did you say the other house was? Uh, Judy's house? No, no, where Judy's house was, but the railroad house. The railroad house. You said, you said there were two of them. Yeah, there were two of them. Well, Judy lived in one. The railroad house. Oh, and, and, and um, what was the name? The, 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 
Yeah. So Judy is the lady that lives out in Sandy? Yeah. She lived in one of them. Yeah. Now, I don't know what you're talking about the other one. Where's the other one? Well, uh, what, what, what was the old boy's name? Who was the foreman? Oh, Farrell. Ray Farrell? Yeah, Ray Farrell's house. Yeah. Oh, oh, he house. lived in the other one. Pardon? He lived in the other one? Yeah, do you live? Well, there, are, there are actually three. I said there were two, but I forgot about Ray Farrell's house. Yeah. But these were regular railroad houses. And, and I don't know whether they paid rent or whatever, but you probably had to be, you know, um, not entry level. Um, manager. Well, I thought Roy, my dad ran the lantern for a garden. My dad had a garden right down below the depot for a long time. We had to go down there. And he always had a garden. I thought he ran it for Roy Perello. Roy was a hitter of the game, what they called the handy game that worked on the railroads. Mm -hmm. That was his main job. He was the, the leader of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember he had a little. Yippee doll. When you walk down here, you come running out of her mouth after you. <laughs> <laughs> that dog wasn't any bigger than a cat. But it was, was noisy. <laughs> He'd come and nip at your, your feet. Then they had, right below that, Dad had a, I think it might have been one for us too, a little barn you kept a goat in. But I think you had to have goats milk or something? Yeah. Right. And we had a little goat down there. We had to come down and work in the garden or milk the goat and that little dog would attack us all the time. <laughs> that was on railroad land. The on railroad land? Yeah. Because they actually the Union Pacific Railroad uh, owned a quite a long strip of land, you know, from the depot to uh, Easter, mm -hmm. or uh, western. And uh, yeah, that's where the three houses would have been, would have been on that land. Mm -hmm. But uh, in order to get water to the water tank, which filled up the steam engines, uh, there, there's a, uh, uh, a creek that was up on uh, Richard Shrewdy's property. That they uh, <coughs> ran a pipe from this creek to fill up the water tank. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. Richard told me that just a uh, year or so. He did. So do you remember when the meat house or the meat packing place was down here? Yeah. You do? Well, no, not the meat packing. It was wolf over there. In fact, I was in here one night in the office. I looked out the window and it was on fire. I remember I called the phone and called up dad. I said, hey, wolf is on fire. So somebody called the fire department and come down there, and he had to come down there. I thought he'd be running out of here. But it wasn't a real bad fire. It caught on. I'd see the smoke and flames. They caught it. They'd come down and put it out. It kind of stunk because they just did uh, hides and the hides. Before that was a It was in this building over here that they just tore down last year, yeah. or the year before. Yeah. That was the old tannery. Yeah, the old tannery didn't have that big water tank in front. Mm -hmm. They used to put, Dad said, people put sturgeon in there, and they would go for a long time in there, but then somebody come and they would fish them out. Uh, and it was kind of, you know, a big round cement thing that had a fence around it. So they grew their sturgeon in there? You know, somebody did. They just, you know, they weren't going for a bit. Somebody threw a few sturgeon in there and fed them once in a while, I guess, to jump the wool for it. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, our grandfather's farm where he really celebrated is what the outlook story was. Yeah, he don't know about that. Well, he yeah, didn't know about that. He didn't. Morris, well, here's Morris, too. What was his name? Morris McGinnis? Morris McGinnis. That was Morris. He was the one that owned all the land behind it, behind yeah. the railroad. Yeah, right down. Yeah, I remember the greenhouse going down on the road. Got a little greenhouse there. On the same road you went down, you go to his greenhouse, turn off, and then you turn right to the old quarry park there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know when they changed it from a old port from a meat packing place. I know that was there for quite a while, and then I'm not sure when they changed it to the old quarry. Remember the wolf quarry? 
What was it? What was it? Strong aroma to it. What was it called? The what? The first one. Walford. The meat packing place. I don't know. It's in the books. You probably got the book. I saw that not too long ago. A history of Trotdale and yeah. meat packing. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. It's, it's in Sharon Nesbitt's book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought maybe at first, uh, from your conversation, that it was, it had another name to begin with. I don't know. Okay. I just, we always call it, you know, when we were growing up with the wolf or meat packing class was gone by then. Mm -hmm. And it, like I already said, you can smell it. That's what they did, stripped hides, tanned hides there. You could smell the hides being tanned. Yeah, all well, chemicals and stuff. Yeah. The hides came from like Montana. And so they weren't from what they were doing here. Mm -hmm. The hides came, sh they were shipped in here. Yeah. And they did the tanning. Right. Well, I won't take any more of your time, but when we, uh, when they get finished with their portion and then we got to reassemble this, put this back together for the museum. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice if it's a little stripped off and kind of put back that same wood. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like kind of an old color. I was looking at this, and this is kind of the color that I was in here. It, it, the green, yeah, but that's nice and new and bright. Well, but it was a, but it was a lighter green, green like this, is what I thought. Right, right. Yes. Because when you look at it's not so much there as it is over here when I pull that. I forgot what I've, I've got pictures of this from before we pulled it off. Uh-huh. Yes. You were looking at this here. There's a box in the right here and I've got that box. Yeah. But this is the color and I thought it was kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the original color. Right. Yeah. That's what I kind of remember. Not that that's probably. It wasn't one. this dark, it's this lighter that we see up here. Yeah. yeah. It's and more that down there. Mm hmm. That, that lighter. That's kind of what I remember. This lighter. Yeah, this is that old switchboard that I was thinking of when I was uh, talking to you on the phone the other day. That I thought maybe it was. That's well, we had something here at one time, sitting on here, Barth. Well, there's a lot of ca cables that come up underneath this bench and into a line because there was a phone and a telegraph that was set up on the other side that we took off. Right. There's one here. Away. There's actually one on your side, too. Yes. Because one broke it in. That's why I sit over here. Then the main guy sat over here mm -hmm. and talked. When I worked, and that's, you know, I work by myself at night. And we used the, that was the main one there. This is for the apprentices on this side. On this side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apprentice side. But you know what would have been super cool if we had that prop belly still. Those things were amazing. Ah! No way! No way! Way! Cool. Now, is that the original or is it? I am not sure. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Where did you find it? It was here when the, I, I'm assuming it was here when the building came over. Uh -huh. And see, it was sitting out here and we just, we just pulled it out while it was sitting right there. Right. We pulled it from there over here to protect it while they're doing the restoration because, like I said, they're going to strip the paint off all this uh -huh. and put it back to its original. I don't remember any. So here we had one in the waiting room. It was the same thing. They were oh. the same stoves. The same? Yes. Yeah, see, that's what I was figuring. Based on the marks on the floor and the marks on the floor over there, like uh -huh. you said, the pipe came out and came through that, yeah, came over right here. For both of this them. one. Yeah. For both of them. Yeah. Now, why it would go here and go here too is what I didn't understand. Same way on the other side, yeah. unless that's just a breather that went up. Yeah. They might have changed the, when was the place built? 19, I think it was 1906. 1906? Yeah. 
they might have started for a few years and just had one go up here, then they added put, on. Then added on. Yeah. Well, this is kind of like our cabinet it comes across like this, and then it goes up the chimney. Yes. You know, yes. the stove is here, and then it went up the whole and then back up. Yes, but and see the top. Right through the top. Yeah, but the top of the chimney over here has been stripped off. Yeah. Probably one time it went through there. Yeah. Right. So they didn't have a going when I was in here. Yeah, we just need a picture in here. Yeah, they had a picture back in the 50s. And then just, you know, to see whether the pipe went straight up or... Mm -hmm. But if you guys got pictures of any of this inside here, it would sure be appreciated if we could get... Outside, I think. Copies, same thing with the outside, you know. Yeah, yeah. we got a picture of the outside. Unless you want to film it. Don't have the pictures. Not a whole lot of pictures. It'd be interesting to see that Judy, do you still have a relationship with her? Right. You? Yeah, she was on the end. And uh, if you still have a relationship with her, she would, uh, uh, if she's willing to donate her, she would allow us to at least make copies of those pictures mm -hmm. so we can authenticate some of the things that we're doing in here for part of the restoration. You know what we're really need about the old people also? Is looking um, at Westerly from, from where the old people sat, that probably for a hundred feet or so that there was just a well manicured lawn and mm -hmm. the flower beds were so nice. And uh, well, that was asphalt, nice flowers and manicure, like I said. Then they had an asphalt, not next to track, like a little path that went out to the well, message thing where you put the Message. You have a message on the yeah. Mm -hmm. you, <coughs> could, you had an old manicure like that, and a nice grass. Then they had a path. They didn't catch it right in front of people. They walked down ways, mm -hmm. and you actually walked up a little. I don't. Know, kind of yeah, that was a platform. Yeah. Then it is. Then they had a long one. You could. You That's could. one of the ladies that was out back doing the, uh, the work queue. Remember I was telling you, they're, they're, they're digging all this uh, stuff up and they're taking it down to... Uh, the volunteers? Yeah. Merrill Lee one of them? I'm not sure. Uh, she was on tax cap for a long time. Is she the, the secretary here? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. She's our... Let's see. Yeah. Well, we won't take any more of your time, but like I said, once we get started on the restoration, putting this back together. Well, you had a, what are they going to do with it? They can open it up? Yeah, we're going to put it back to the museum, and then this caboose is going to be moved back up here. Uh -huh. And this is going to be a bike, uh, what do they call it, Q? A bike hub. This will be a bike hub in here. Uh -huh. And then we'll have the museum and, and uh, the caboose sitting up here both open. And then this over here will be uh, part of Troutdale's, uh, uh, oh, come on. Uh, the gallery. Information Center? Yeah, Information Center, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. My mind's not working this morning, but there'll be an Information Center set up over here on this side. Uh -huh. Are they going to do anything up that room up there? Yeah, they're going to do remodel that whole Just side okay. and put offices in there for the information center. And then I'm not sure what's going to be downstairs. Oh. You are going to point at something outside real quick. Oh, yeah. Have a question. Let's take a walk. Yeah. 